Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're reviewing the most common synonymous of black coffee. The machine you have all seen and used. You might love it, you might hate it. It's here, the Mr. Coffee Drip Coffee Maker. This machine has remained almost unchanged in the plus 50 years of its invention. It's one of those things where you can say, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And not because it's perfect, but rather because it's extremely simple. The Mr. Coffee Drip Coffee Maker changed in one way or another the way we see coffee forever. Before its invention, household coffee was dominated by percolator coffee makers, which produce really, really bad coffee. No offense. Only coffee shops and restaurants had dripper coffee makers, and those were big, bulky, power hungry, and expensive. Impossible to place on a kitchen counter. It was at that time in 1971 that Vincent Marotta and Tambo Glazer invented the pouring instant brewing electric coffee maker. It went to shelves next year under the brand Mr. Coffee, and it was an instant hit. Even today, you see that design everywhere now under different brands and with more functions, but remaining practically the same. And speaking about functions, let's see how it works. The water goes in the tank of the back of the machine. In the front, we've got the filter holder on top of the glass carafe. As soon as you turn on the machine, it starts heating not all the water, but only what's inside the small tubes that go all the way up. It doesn't use pump to move the water, but physics. As soon as the water below is close to the boiling point, it will create pressure, thus moving the water that is above it, until it falls through the shower head into the coffee grounds. When there is no more water to boil, the heating elements will continue turned on, but now they will heat the glass carafe to keep the coffee warm all day. So far so long, Everything looks perfect on this machine, right? Wrong. It could be better in so many ways. Let's see the main design flaws. Number one. The first drops of water the coffee grounds receives are almost always cold water. This happens because the heating element doesn't heat all the internal tubings, but only a few bits. As a result, the coffee suffers. Number two, sometimes, and I say sometimes because literally it can happen one time and the next, using the exact same machine, it won't. Sometimes the squirts of hot water can be strong squirts, making a hole on the ground coffee. This is a recipe for uneven extraction. The grounds of coffee that were hit by the squirt will be over extracted, and those who were not will be under extracted. That is why sometimes you may have tried good coffee using this machine and you like it, and then made another batch and hated it. And number three, the main purpose of this machine was to give households easy good quality coffee replacing the percolator. So, why do we need a heating element below the carafe? The only thing that it will do is to make your coffee bitter. I don't know about you, but I prefer my coffee cold over bitter every day of the year. Now, having these design flaws in our heads, what can we do to avoid our coffee from getting spoiled from them? I have some small tips that will make your coffee taste better. First, before filling the coffee basket or filter, turn on the machine and leave it on for a while. Let it drip the first bits of cold water, and as soon as you feel the water is no longer cool, turn the machine off. Throw away the water that managed to get to the carafe, fill the filter and turn it on again. You have to account for the wasted water when filling the water tank, so fill it a little bit over the usual. Second, the strong squirt is a hard one to fix. 
The main cause of those squirts is hard water. Some minerals can block the shower head, making it hard for the water to flow easily. You can use vinegar to clear this, or some cleaning tabs they sell. If after this, you're still struggling, I suggest drilling the shower head to make the holes bigger, thus lowering the pressure. Last but not least, drink your coffee as soon as it's ready. Don't leave it there getting bitter over that hot plate of metal. It is impossible not to use one of those. It is virtually in every office, house and hotel room. So it's up to you to use it right. Coffee from a Mr. Coffee doesn't have to be bad. It can be kinda close to a Chemex or V60 when it works out well. I have tried myself many good coffees with that. It has a definite advantage over any other coffee maker. Anyone can use it. It is more likely that a complete beginner will get this right and a French press wrong. And that's the main root of its success. Thank you for watching folks and see you next episode.